Stanford University. I work on these volcanic carbon dioxide vents. They occur off the coastline of Italy, and I use them to look into what we predict will happen to these marine ecosystems in the future if we increase our carbon dioxide levels. We know carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can cause global warming, but about 40% of that is actually absorbed into the oceans, and that changes the chemistry such that the oceans become more acidic. When I'm underwater, I'm typically collecting samples of the different organisms, then I bring them back to the lab. I do a lot of work on the microscope where I'm actually counting them, measuring them, identifying them to species. What we're finding is that there are winners and losers in response to ocean acidification. You lose some of the species you would expect to be really sensitive, and these are species with shells, so a lot of snails or urchins. They're replaced by these very small-bodied crustaceans, so much smaller than the species that they're actually replacing that we think there's less biomass in this system overall that would be available for organisms that are higher in the food chains. Lower diversity, it's more simplified, and most likely less able to deal with other environmental stressors that are probably going to come with climate change. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.